First, I would say separate playing and practicing. If you put together playing and practicing, they poison each other. So keep practicing, practicing. Only practice the time you practice. And then stop practicing and then play. Have fun, don't criticize yourself, don't analyze, just play, play, play. And keep them separated. Both of them are important and none of them is more important or something, but they do very different things. Um, I would have a timer. I would write down what you do. I, I know in the last 15 years what I did, on what day, in what tempo, and how long, and how I did, and stuff. Um, and I would limit it to not too many things. I would maximum focus on three things over three months. Uh, many people focus on 20 things uh, in one week, and <laughs> then they get frustrated, and they don't feel their progress. And then it's, it's, everyone gets frustrated, because if you invest a lot of work, and a lot of time and you don't prove it's not provable for yourself that that you have a lot of change going on you run out of fuel you run out of motivation so focus on a couple of things only and do those dig deep and then you will reap big rewards and that will keep it going very very nicely and uh, I have to say that I'm writing a book right now about effective practicing and there will be some very practical tips and a whole system actually how to structure your practice time and uh, how to write your practice journal and um, why it works, how it works. So please uh, look out for that. It's going to be great.